Hello everyone watching this video. Uh, today I would like to show you how to take out the battery of the Harley Davidson Street 750. First, you need to pull this right hand side cover out of its place. The cover only uses a simple tap and slot mechanism to stay in place. While this is simple and easy, uh, I think there is a risk that it could just fall off or pulled out and thrown away. This is the left hand side cover which also uses a simple tap and slot mechanism to stay in place. This basically houses this uh, coolant reservoir. You can pull this lid out to open it and then add coolant as and when needed. There is this nut here uh, that needs to be removed. This is what holds the negative line or earthing line in place. The coolant reservoir cover was pulled off for easier removal of these four bolts of the sprocket cover. Without taking this cover off, it is difficult to reach this earthing nut that we talked about. Okay, let's now take the sprocket cover off. This is held in place by four 5mm Allen bolts. This is the first bolt. I haven't taken this off in a long time. Now this is just a plastic cover. Always refrain from using excessive force to tighten your nuts and bolts. It is best to stick to the specified torque figure of all your nuts and bolts actually. This is the second bolt. It's coming off, yeah. Now let's move on to the third bolt here. Oh, it's hard. I think I'll have to use an alternative tool here. This is a multi-purpose Taparia ratchet screwdriver. It has been my faithful and handy companion for many years. However, this isn't a heavy duty tool and care should be taken to avoid using this screw. Uh, you're using this to unscrew or screw those really hard balls and nuts. This is the fourth bolt that I am opening. And this is by far the most elusive of the lot. Uh, since the bike is really low, you might have to literally prostrate to even locate the position of the bolt. And I don't have the appropriate jack to lift this motorcycle up when I need to. The fourth bolt is almost out. Yes, it's finally out. This is the sprocket cover. Let's have a closer look. It's dirty. With this out of the way, we can have a clear view of the sprocket there. I think uh, all the Harley models that are sold in India come with a belt drive. Okay, why did I open this sprocket cover? It's just to gain access to this nut. This is the nut that holds the negative line of the battery in place. To pull the battery out, you need to remove this nut. Now, using a 4mm Allen key, we need to open the top panel just above the battery. This panel only holds some couplers and sensors. Um, I once saw a video on YouTube where a Street 750 owner tried taking the battery out without opening this top panel. He managed, but the task would have been easier if uh, this particular top panel give us some space for work when we try taking the battery out later. Now this is the main panel that has to be out of the way. As you can see this is held in place by two bolts, one on the top and one at the bottom here. The rear side of this panel uses a simple tab and slot mechanism to lock uh, this panel in place. Subsequent scenes would show you how easily this can be pulled out to detach uh, the panel from the body. This panel basically holds many vital fuses and wires in place. A bit messy there. These are concealed by a simple cover that has no lock mechanism. I think uh, this is a gross omission on the part of Harley. Okay guys, let's get down to business. A 10mm T-wrench. Um, is the best tool for this calm of unscrewing the nut that holds the negative line of the battery.
there are two other wires bolted along with this negative line uh, and one of the wires connects the battery to an external charging point and that has come in handy at this time of unprecedented lockdown I'll show you the picture of this charger this is it it is time to take the top panel off as mentioned earlier I don't really know if the Harley Davidson mechanics do as I do uh, but taking this off makes my work easier there are two balls uh, that need to be removed this is one of the balls and there is the second bolt on the left side and here are the two bolts let's keep them safe we are now opening the main panel that conceals the battery um, and there are two bolts here that need to be opened with a 4 mm allen key one on the top and uh, one at the bottom you need to be extra careful when you handle this panel because this houses a number of vital fuses and wires. Uh, the left side of this panel is held in place by tabs and slots. To unlock them, all you need to do is to push it forward, like this. Now we can pull the panel out, but avoid the use of any force when you do that because the wires are still attached to it oh yeah this is the gem that we have been longing to unearth for so long wrapped like an Egyptian mummy in an Amazon wrapping bag okay our next uh, big task at hand is to remove this bolt that holds the positive line in place a 10 millimeter ring wrench uh, is the best tool for this task Now that the bolt is unscrewed, you'll find two wires fastened to the positive head of the battery. Uh, one wire is of course the positive line of the motorcycle. The other wire which I'm holding right now is the positive line of the external battery charger that I mentioned earlier in the video. Okay, all said and done, let's continue our task of taking this battery out of its chamber. I don't understand why Harley Davidson has to make one of the simpler mechanical jobs, you know, the most daunting and time consuming one. The battery has been hidden as though it is a rare gem that needs to be safeguarded in a fortified vault or something. Hmm, looks like I have to unscrew the starter solenoid as well. This top panel is not giving me a break. Okay, with the two bolts securing the starter solenoid out of the way, we can make another attempt at pulling uh, this battery out. Uh, this tab here is the culprit uh, that prevents us from drawing this battery out, the thing that I am touching. Uh, had it not been for this Mephistopheles, the battery would have been out of its catacomb by now. Hmm, after much sweat, our work seems to pay off but I need to pull this battery out very gently because the negative wire is still attached to it. Okay, this here is our battery. Time to unwrap it and read its uh, specifications. Uh, this is an original Harley Davidson lithium 12 ampere hour battery. It looks cool and premium too. I love the look of it. Let's wash it and keep it clean. Okay, with that said, I would like to wrap this video up. Thank you for sparing your time to watch it. God bless you and Jai Hind.